Hi everyone, welcome to another day on planet Earth and welcome here to E equals VS. As we continue talking on the subject of Gregory Grabovoy's book about resurrection of people and eternal life from now on, it's your reality. Big topic and this is absolutely nothing to do with religion. This is about the science and spirituality of how our world is created. But I wanted to mention um, an important topic here around the understanding of dimensions because, uh, you know, unless you understand the dimensions that we have access to, and not only in a physical reality, but also through the power of our consciousness, then you probably can't understand why somebody who has, in our understanding, have died, has passed away, or as Gregory Grabovoy says, the gone ones who have left this dimension, how they could possibly come back, why they would actually come back. And I think that's the biggest question I have people say, why would you want to come back? Because most people look around the world at the moment and go, oh my gosh, it's an absolute mess. Um, why on earth would you want to come back and live this life and not only that when I mentioned that you can be here eternally for hundreds of years or even thousands of years people have in mind that they're going to be here getting old and having all the crap that they've had to put up with their in their life for thousands of years to come and that's not true um, even that thought about living for thousand years is a whole nother subject but Obviously, you need to know the knowledge of different levels of your consciousness. However, also what is required is the awareness that we can move from one dimension to another just in our consciousness. We live in three dimensions of the physical reality. However, our soul, our spirit and the prime creator live free of the confines of this physical denseness of this dimension so our consciousness has no boundaries can perceive what is happening perhaps even on another part of the world uh, in even on another planet so can your consciousness perceive the invisible realm or what we might call the spiritual realm absolutely and when you understand the laws of creation and know it can be done and then all that's required is that you practice so perhaps you've already had the ability to be able to perceive or perhaps you've been getting some signals that you're perceiving information but you don't know how to focus or you're not understanding what you're actually seeing and perceiving this is where you really need to have some grounding and some building blocks and how to do that. Now today I'm going to put the next bit of text from Guri Grabovoy's uh, book which speaks about different dimensions and gives some examples of the different dimensions which seems pretty rudimentary when you're listening to it but this is some of the I don't want to take for granted that you might know and I really want to make sure that you have an understanding of that because when we get into some practice in your consciousness then you can start understanding with that foundation that's what we do mostly in our classes in our new earth academy classes but particularly in our foundation work as we lay the building blocks so that you can understand that in your consciousness you can change any structure of reality because everything is information so it's like living in a if you want to say Google, where you have access to every aspect of information. And if you didn't like a specific part of the information, you delete or change it. I guess that's a bit what they do on the Internet already. However, you've got power to do it in your consciousness. You can shift and change any part of uh, the world in your consciousness. And it has effect in the three-dimensional world not often do you feel it straight away like you don't doesn't turn out straight away because really you don't want everything to be uh, created from what you're thinking imagine if everything you thought manifested with a split second into the physical reality you might spend a lot of time trying to clean up and erase it so 
the creator placed in our area of perception in front of us some filters uh, so that our thoughts weren't immediately manifested. However, through concentration to be clear on how our world is created, there are ways that you can bring things from the invisible realm into the physical realm. This is the science, the spirituality that Gregory Graverboy is showing through his teachings. Anyway, I said I was going to be brief. All the info is here and if you need some further info, please jump on our website. Please like and share this information. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you again soon.